Okay, how to set up a blueprint or drawing reference. So let's start up by looking from the side. Select the cube, delete the cube, then press Shift A. Image, reference, go to the place where you have the reference. And this image I have here has been supplied by the blueprints.com. Uh, so big thanks to them. And as you see in this blueprint, we have actual measurements. So let's add a cube, Shift A, mesh, cube. And then I just used to take one of the measurements. Let's take the width. So we go here and we can take the X, set this to 1735 and the Y, the length of the car, are 3915 and the, and the height of the car is 1. Two, three, zero. because it used to be a good thing to work in the right scale okay so we have the reference cube now we can actually set the restriction toggle and turn this off so you cannot select it then I used to take the blueprint drag it here and as you can see I cannot see drawing behind here so let's go to the object data properties and in depth we want to choose front and then we want to see this image from both of the sides and right now if I rotate like this I can see the blueprint but I don't want that so I unselect the perspective and now you can only see the image if you stand completely from the side and this we want and then I want to have some opacity to the image so uh, let's check opacity and we can drag it down maybe 0.4 like this great and some people used to uh, divide all the different views of the blueprint but i think that's more cumbersome than just working with the whole blueprint okay so let's scale this up to size start out like this and scale it down something like this but this step it's it's different how important it is for you regarding what you're aiming to build but i think this looks good so now we have the side of the car set up so let's select the blueprint press shift d and then we want to rotate um, rotate this around y and 90 degrees and if you now look upon the um, blueprint from the top like this it looks correct we just need to move it in the side so g x move it and you can see we try to adjust it align it and we try to align it to the box something like this great and we go back to the side and we select the image press shift d uh, right click and now we want to rotate it around z so r z 90 we press up here look upon the car from the front and we take the blueprint and press g x to move it in the side and try to set it up in the center and here we can actually work with the logo type something like that yeah that will work okay and now we go to the back and now we can see it's the same image from both uh, back and front and we don't want that so we need to select the image here and we uh, only want to see this from the front and it has been inverted so let's choose back instead so and now if we go to the back of the car we cannot see any blueprint so let's select it press shift D right click and now press front uh, and now we can just move up the blueprint to so G, Z and it should be in line with the front so G, Z and sometimes uh, as you can see here um, the roof lining is a bit over or the tires are a bit down so sometimes I actually add other boxes or lines so I can align with the rear um, or the side mirrors so I get it more correct so this is how it's done so if we just scroll scroll around I cannot see 
any blueprint but if I go to the different views it's all correct and now it's just start building and now we can hide the cube we don't want to see that anymore and we can name the different blueprints so this is from the side this is from the top this is from the front and this must be from the back and uh, then I just use to select all of this and press M new collection ref for references and we have all them sorted out like that so this is how you set up a drawing or blueprint or reference image and this drawing is as I said from the blueprints.com and then you get the blueprint as a vector file and therefore you can delete all the color of the car and you can also fix the line width to your liking and you can also easily change the line color so that's a big plus if you get a real drawing or blueprint from a place as the blueprints.com so big thanks again to the blueprints.com thanks for watching and if you like stuff like this please subscribe and if you like this uh, please give it a like bye